All right, hey guys, this is IT guy eight nine eight nine, bringing you another video. Uh, uh, like we were talking about before, guys, we're gonna go based off the previous videos of the same topic, guys. We were talking about a bit of my background and what I do. Um, here's here's my education. Um, about to graduate, I might actually take my final class right now, so I have a lot of. Education in Cisco Violent Technology, Linux Networking Security, Information Security, Computer Virtualization Technology, Installing and Configuring Windows Server, Administering Windows Server, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and uh, Digital Forensics, Network Infrastructure Security, and Ethical Hacking. Um, that's a bit about my background so you guys know who I am and what I do. I'm part of a National Security Agency and Department of Defense Certified Program. So I wanted to get all these details out first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and donate if you can, guys. Really appreciate it to help educate people about network engineering and cybersecurity, guys. Um, I wanted to get all that detailed. I highly recommend you do all that, what I said previously, like, subscribe, and all that. Um, because I'm also going to be doing like little capture the flag things that's going to be inside of my, my websites and my videos and things like that. So once you find them, and you can announce them. You're going to be rewarded for just to view all my content and, and figure out in there because there's going to be a lot of content, guys. So make sure you go through the content and take a good look and um, may the best person win. Um, but we're going to talk more about the dark web. Um, well, I think the previous video was a lot about like what is the dark web. So go check out that video if you haven't seen that video. Go check it out again. Um, it's a basically introduction because we're going to be talking about ethical hacking, we're going to talk about operating systems and networks and stuff like that, cybersecurity. So, you know, this is a related topic. And I have this other form here, it's a you know, white hat agreement form. Um, just one way that I let you guys know that the reason I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this and making videos about this is for educational purposes um, only um, to, to help inform people, to help prepare people, to help them. Um, understand what cybersecurity is and, and things like that. Um, I, there's actually probably another thing that I can add to all of this um, so I can I can uh, reinforce um, what, what what I mean by that. Um, but yeah, he, just act honorably, honestly, justly, responsibly, and legally, guys. Understand that hacking is illegal, guys. Um, taking over somebody else's information system, uh, which um, and, which you don't have authorization to do is illegal. So don't don't go around hacking your neighbors, guys, or hacking, you know, anybody else, in, um, any device that you don't own. Don't don't do that. If you own the device, um, you own multiple devices. You own the router. You own the switch. You own the modem. You own the laptops. You own the phones. You own the entire network. You're more than you're more than welcome to to practice the the techniques. On your own devices to help harden your your, your security, um, give yourself ideas of well, I was able to access this like that. I was able to gain access like that. Um, now, how do I patch that? How do I harden that? How do I improve? Um, how do I stop that? And 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 that that's the lead. that's the education I'm really trying to get you guys to understand. That's why we practice hacking, hacking and understanding hacking thing to protect ourselves, not to hurt anyone else. So. Um, I just wanted to make that clear so as these videos go on um, nobody gets the wrong idea about why I'm talking about this stuff about why I'm, I'm introducing people this stuff it's it's to help protect yourself um, and help stop uh, people who are actually doing this um, and, and being against the people that are actually doing this stuff if you look at my previous video you saw what the dark web was about I was reading it and if you watched the entire video you seen how like my attitude was you know, I was I was in a good mood when I first started, but as slowly, but you know, as I'm going through it, I'm reading about like what is the dark web. My mood started to change, guys. You know, this was like going sad. I'm getting sad and I'm getting upset because the, the things that is going on, and um, the things that I want to battle against, and the things that I'm against are all over there. It's like too much, you know, things. But if you if you haven't seen, um, if you haven't seen that video yet, yeah, go back and go check out that video. You know, get a better grasp of what's going on and. On, in, on the internet, in the dark web, how people are accessing it and all that stuff, and, and, and you'll, you'll be up to date of like what we're trying to do. Um, so anyhow, with all that being said, we're, we're, the last thing I left on is in that last video was we're talking about like illegal content and all that stuff. We want to understand what what is illegal content, like what is that? Um, we can come here and ask a better question. What is illegal content? 
what content is illegal um, on the internet. We're just going to sit here and we're going to browse around, guys, and, and, and actually take a look at these um, these 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 sites and see what people are saying about that. Like, what content is illegal on the internet? Like, let's take a look. It says currently there are more than four billion users on the internet globally. Everyone uses an internet connection for various purposes. While some enjoy looking at pictures of pets, others are using it for the wrong reasons, such as sharing illegal content. If you get exposed to such content, it becomes easier to track you down. Law enforcement agencies will quickly arrest anyone who engages in posting or viewing illegal content online. So that that sounds I mean that's a good definition right here. If you're if you're participating in posting or viewing illegal content online um you, you can be arrested for that um and so now we, that's what we're trying to figure out what is illegal to view like that's where we're at right now what content is illegal online um what should we not view online and you know if you look at that dark web you know what is the dark web there's a lot of content guys that you just heard the words and you were just like i shouldn't be looking at that I shouldn't be posting about that, you know. That's no, I don't. I, I, that's not something that I, I want to I want everyone to just familiarize themselves with and get to know. With, you know, that's just so. So be careful, guys. In the U.S., these crimes are a breach of federal and state have in place in place federal laws such as Data Protection Act of 1996. These violations will result in many years in prison, depending on the nature of the crime. Most countries have similar laws in place to protect potential victims. Illegal deep web, guys. Says we heard about the deep web. We read about the deep web and um, the dark web. What is the dark web? The intro, like we we, we we were talking about it. We read about it. You know, like okay, trying to figure out you know what's going on there, how to avoid it. You know, how not to participate how not to, you know, get in trouble, how, you know, when we think about cybersecurity, how to protect ourselves from it, um, you know. So, you know, this is this is the education that I'm trying to bring upon you guys and have you guys understand and, and, and things like that. So, um, yeah, so I hope you really enjoyed the videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, donate, and all that stuff. And I am going to promote other things too, guys. I'm going to uh, show my Guild Wars page. Um, I do play Guild Wars 2 um, online. Um, I love this game. I play this on um, my downtime when I'm not studying, you know, just to de-stress a bit, um, you know, because IT is a lot of information. Information technology is very detail-oriented, guys. It's very technical. You're reading a, a lot of, you know, words, and you're watching a lot of videos, and, and the explanations are technical. They're, 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 they're very technical. There's a lot of details. You have to, you know, figure that out. So I just want to show this. This is Crystal, Crystal Desert Wins. Sorry, um, I, this is my guild. I own this guild. I have a Discord, so if you're interested in playing um, uh, World vs. World, if you know about Guild Wars 2, um, or be a part of a community and play together on a game that, that that's needed, um, check out my other videos on the channel. And, and there's the guild. I got a comment, say Discord for the Discord, comment for guild invite, and I know exactly what you guys are talking about. So, but anyhow, back to this what is illegal to view on the internet um illegal content is placed on the internet may be infringing or prohibited under different commonwealth or state laws um some online content may also be considered illegal or prohibited such as child pornography instructions on how to commit a crime uh violently violent activity or use of drugs so um Real sex, too much violence. I mean, that's it's pretty pretty broad, um, but it's, it's it's pretty defined too. Like, you know, um, instructions on how to commit a crime. This is when I. This is very broad. That that this 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 is precise, guys. That's precise. That's precise. That's precise. Uh. That's precise. That's precise. Um, instruction on how to commit a crime. Um, you know, that 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 can has a little grayish area in there. So um, we will have to you know research more about that. Um, 
because cybersecurity, we, we introduce people um, to ethical hacking and things like that, not for people to hack information systems maliciously it's to educate you to protect yourself from malicious hackers. Yeah, so it's like there's there's a gray area there. So um, that's why I'm saying there's a gray area. So, so don't get me misunderstood about anything else. Um, um, always, you know, I always come back to the white hat agreement. I'm a white hat person. I'm a blue team person. And I don't want um, no black team over here. You know, white and blue. I'm definitely doing that. Act honorably, um, honestly, justly, responsibly, and legally. Um, so, uh, I like to follow those guidelines right there, guys. So. Um, if you feel like you're violating those guidelines, um, then then uh, change, uh, make a change. Okay, so what content is illegal on the internet? What's illegal on the top? The scope of illegal content varies with different countries, but in most cases, it includes child sex abuse material. And that's sad that you guys, like, when we started reading about the dark web, um, we noticed that, 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 that child sexual abuse was was on there and it's a popular thing and it's a disgusting thing please report anybody that you see involved in that behavior in that activity um please do report it um and stop and do your best to stop it be against it guys don't, don't be for it that's 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 absolutely disgusting and wrong i, just, I don't know how else to describe it just don't don't do that guys Users can discover illegal digital content online in various spaces, including websites, social media platforms, or file sharing services. It is most likely it is mostly discovered inadvertently, for instance. When a user clicks on the links in spam messages, illegal content may also be shared through emails or message services. In addition to child sex abuse material, illegal content could include obscene or racial content. Um, some illegal content, in particular child porn material, may be extremely distressing to look at and lead to sex crimes. And yeah, illegal content includes footage of real or stimulated violence, accidents, or criminal activity from movies, video clips, or games. So posting, you know, we're, we're talking about posting and viewing, right? Because that, that, that's what we, you know, that's what is basically set up here. We, you know, who engages, well, law enforcement agencies will quickly arrest anyone who engages in posting or viewing illegal content online. Okay, so, you know, we want to keep that, you know, maybe let's take a note of that because that, 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 that looks like a, a good note. That's a... Let's uh, do that. Let's bring a notepad up. Now let's keep that as a. Let's even add the end to that. That's that's something that you know we don't know word for word if that's absolutely true. But I mean, it doesn't sound like a bad idea, guys. Um, even if you stumble upon these websites without you knowing, um, yeah, just be careful, guys. Be careful what, what you're clicking on and stuff like that. Uh, I'm recording myself, so you know anything I'm dabbling in. I, I hope you guys understand that if I fall into anything that I'm promoting, white hat, um, from the National Security Agency, Department of Defense, certified program. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. Um, get people to those websites or see though that um, illegal content uh, at all um, I'm definitely just trying to educate them and um, help them stay away not get arrested not um, yeah protect themselves from hackers because we know they're out there and they're setting people up trying to like someone can email you I think about it someone can email you these links and then have you click on them and that's bait and 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 then look now you're in some type of weird situation and you didn't want to view that 
information because it's viewing the posting and then now you're viewing it. And then, uh, yeah, so you know, watch out for phishing attacks too. That you know, we're gonna talk about phishing attacks and we're gonna talk about DDoS attacks and we're gonna talk about other ways that hackers, you know, steal personal information and things like that. So that's a lot of uh, things that we're gonna be talking about. So um, now we got our note. I think that's great. So we're gonna keep that note. It's a great note. So let's let's come back down. Alright, so Alright, sexually explicit images include those of sexual image abuse. Content that promotes extreme political views, possessively use for radicalizing vulnerable people. Materials that promote hate towards groups or individuals based on religion, race, or sexual pre uh, preference. So, don't view or don't post, guys, uh, materials that promote hate towards groups or individuals based on religion, race, or sexual preference. Um, so, that's what you got. I would say wrote it like that. That might be better to help people. You know, do not view and post footage of real or simulated violence, accidents, or criminal activity um, from movies, video clips, or games. Um, okay, and that says do not view or post materials that promote, or do not view or post content that promotes extreme political views. Uh, potentially used for radicalizing vulnerable people. We already read that one. Uh, do not view or post instructions that promote violence, crime, or unsafe behavior, such as how to make weapons and bombs, how to make drugs, or cause terrorism. Um, Do not view or post gaining unauthorized access to streaming services. Okay. Okay, and do not view or post anything about stealing IP addresses um, and committing computer fraud and abuse. Alright. So now that we got that covered, um, yeah, that, that, that seems like it's, it's pretty precise, you know. Um, some of it could be kind of, you know, deep, explained deeper, I think, you know. But this is just somebody's website, guys. You know, I, don't, I don't know if this is a lawyer talking, but I think this person is just trying to be very general with you. Um, but we're going to take a look into more, like, more websites, more web pages, and um, we're trying to try to dig deep. And, um, uh, and see what, what that means. Um, we'll, we'll start with the state of Florida and um, see what Florida has to say. So what content is illegal on the internet? How people access illegal content? Unexpected results from search engines. Users may be exposed to such content through other wide activities such as unexpected results from search engines, clicking on unknown links, typing a web address incorrectly, clicking on a pop-up ad, and clicking on prize offers or online games. So any of those things can lead you to one of these websites, which honestly, it's like it says right here, will quickly arrest anyone who engages in posting a view and illegal content, even if you stumbled upon it. So be careful, guys. That's why you get pop blockers and, and things like that. Know which web servers you're trying to communicate, you know, websites you're trying to communicate with. Know what you're typing in. And be careful, guys, as you use um, the internet. You know, be careful with your kids. This is why you have to do your um, parental controls um, to set um, on your your kids' devices on what they're what they're viewing and what they're posting, guys. Because think about that. Think about that, guys. You know, 
you know, just some thoughts for you guys to sit on. Um, at times, people deliberately access illegal content, especially if they get into adolescence. This can because uh, this can be because of curiosity or sharing with friends for how shocking the content is. Illegal content can expose us to concepts that they are not ready to manage and may breach social and cultural beliefs. Sometimes some content can be distressing. Kids exposed to such content may not report it to teachers or parents because they may be ashamed of what they have seen. Um, what content is illegal on the internet and how the law deals with illegal content? Even though it may not be an offense to view or possess prohibited content. Authorities can take action under the Broadcasting, the Broadcasting Services Act 1992 to reduce the availability of this type of content. Okay. Material that is prohibited in any online content that is classified RC refused classification or X18 by the classification board you can get more information about illegal online content and what constitutes illegal content and how to file a complaint with the ACMA if you or your loved ones access such content on the ACMA's website. Okay guys, so I mean, there's some words there that I'm not too familiar with that we can probably uh, research and, and, and try to figure out um, like what is the ACMA? Let's see. The ACMA stands for the American Case Management Association. It's committed in keeping you informed about our actions in response to COVID. So American Case Management Association. Alright, good to know. Okay, so what content is illegal on the internet? Three examples of illegal content in 2020. One, hiring an assassin. Yeah, guys, how are you guys going to justify that? Like, give me one good answer. Like, see, you see what I mean? When there's just obvious things, do not view or post anything about hiring an assassin. Summed it up right there, right? Do not view or post anything about terrorism. People can share their ideas. But let's see what it says underneath what this person is saying about it. The dark web is referred to as a criminal world or internet service. It is not indexed by search engines, making it users remain anonymous. You'll find many examples of criminal activities, including hiring assassins. It is illegal to hire an assassin. If law enforcement catches you, you'll be apprehended to terrorism. People can share their ideas and connect people from all over the world by using internet. Unfortunately, terrorists can also share their ideas, inspire others to join them. Okay, so basically don't view and post about terrorism, guys. That that, that can possibly get you. Uh, so we got a note again. Law enforcement agencies will quickly arrest anyone who engages in posting or viewing illegal content online, even if you stumble upon the website without you knowing. So there's, that's that, guys. You know. I know that's a broad thing. A, you know, I don't know if that person's a lawyer, what the case is, but still, man, that, that's a warning, man. It's a warning. Take it how you see it. We're going to continue to research and, and, and try to really find the answers. So stay with me, guys. Stay tuned. Let's try to find these answers and see what's, what's, what's really happening. So legal drugs. Buying drugs online is very common. If you try to buy drugs online, you'll attract attention from illegal authorities. Searching for terms relating to finding or buying these drugs will raise alarm bells. Okay, so illegal drugs, terrorism, and hiring assassin. XXX. Do not post a view about any of those topics, guys. Um, 101. Should I say 101? Don't do that. Right. So, what content is illegal on the internet? Limiting exposure to inappropriate content. Labels, filters, and safe zones make it impossible to reduce the risk of exposure to unsuitable or illegal content and set time limits for internet access. 
When deciding which tools are most appropriate for your family, consider the level of guidance required from you and balance this against the range of content you may need to access. Labels. Labeling tools fix descriptive tags to web pages. Most browsers can read such labels and be programmed to block access to these sites or advise when websites are unstable. You can label websites according to how suitable they are for you or your family. These tools together with a web browser make it possible to set levels of access for labeled sites and block access to anything above those levels. Some internet browsers also make it possible to prevent accessing unlabeled sites. Filters. These are computer software programs that provide you various functions to screen, block, or monitor prohibited content. Most filters can be customized to suit the internet's activities of everyday users. Some use features or filters include category blocking, enable a person to choose from various content categories, for instance, violence and pornography, and decided which to allow and which to block. Okay, so blacklist, any postings and viewings. Yeah, don't view or post anything about violence. Don't view or post anything about pornography. Um, so, so you block those, right? Yeah, so that's how you work the filter. Okay, so time control, line your time limit to limit the internet access in certain times of the day. All, oh yeah, all these functions you can do with, with on your router, guys. You can, you know, they are called access control list um, filters and stuff like that. You can, you know, create blacklists. If you don't know how to do that, just comment below. I don't know how. I need help, and I'll be able to do all that for you guys. Um, definitely, let's get some Cisco products too, guys. I'm Cisco. Uh, I come from the Cis uh, Cisco Academy, so let's install some Cisco routers and Cisco uh, switches inside of your home, and let's uh, improve your network speeds, and let's uh, secure your network and, you know, get that filter going to be able to protect your kids and your family and your friends and anybody from, you know, making the wrong decision while they're uh, just basically browsing the internet. Okay, so... You can log time, which makes it possible for parents to track and record history of sites visited by their kids. Service blocking allows people to block access to particular services such as online games, peer-to-peer, -peer, and social networking. Safe zones. Safe zones are secure networks providing access to various websites, especially created for kids and therefore have little risk to exposure to illegal content. Most safe zones are free to use, but some are subscription-based. Um, requiring a special login and password because they are protected from other places on the internet. Safe zones, guys. So if you don't know about safe zones, that's a good cybersecurity idea, concept. It's uh, only accessing safe zones um, and having your kids uh, access those safe zones. So that's great to know. Um, what content is illegal on the internet? If you come across online content that you think is illegal, there are several ways to deal with it. You can report all unlawful activities to the site administrator and report the content to the cyber report team. Also, you should close the page immediately. If what you have seen is shocked or have seen has shocked or upset you, speak to someone you trust or seek help from a professional through a support or counseling service. But better protect yourself and your loved ones. Use a filter or other tools to block some content and use a safe search settings in the browser. In the US, these crimes are in a breach of federal and state have in place federal laws such as the Data Protection Act of 1996. These violations will result in many years in prison depending on the nature of the crime. So I like that guys. I think the next video is gonna be about the Data Protection Act of 1996. Let's uh let's put that up there so we, we know um, because this is this is what we were going what is the legal concept we talk about the dark web let's talk about the data protection act in 1996 so we can get a better idea about that um, but uh, let's see what else um, they got here don't click that you're a complete guy let's see what what he has to say whoever this website designer is 
www.nonstopjustice.com blog where it's illegal to be on the internet. Okay. There are currently over 4 billion global internet users. That's a lot. Everyone uses the internet for different reasons. While some looking at cat pictures, others are building a startup using internet tools. In this article, we'll look at what is illegal to view. And we are thinking about posting too on the internet because viewing and posting, you don't forget, right here. Um, if you view this kind of content, all right, while the internet has many benefits, it can be a medium for obscene content. If you view this kind of content, tracking you down is easier than you think. Law enforcement agencies are quick to arrest anyone who views illegal content. Even if you're unintentionally stumbled upon these websites, there it goes again, another person who gave the same thing. Even if you unintentionally stumble upon these websites, but do you mean that what's considered legal and what, but what, but do you mean what's considered legal and what's considered illegal? Read on to know what is illegal to view on the internet. Okay. Torrenting. Torrenting is a type of torrent. Torrent. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Let's, let's read it out. So torrenting is a type of file sharing conducted between different users on the internet. Torrenting usually invo involves a platform where individual upload. Torrenting usually involves a platform where individuals upload illegal content, such as copyrighted film or song, and others, and others are free to download this material. Okay, so I hope you guys got that idea. I'm reading it over again to make sure I completely got it. So it's a file type sharing. It's a torrenting. It's a type of file sharing conducted between different users on the internet. Torrenting, torrenting usually involves a platform where individuals upload illegal content, such as a copyrighted film or a song. Okay, yeah. So don't use those sites that have films that are still in the movie theaters, you guys. Um, don't view and don't post because you can you can be arrested. You can be arrested. Law agencies are going to be willing to arrest you for doing that. Are going to be wanting to arrest you for doing that. But here's a million dollar question: Can you actually get arrested for torrenting? While torrenting is illegal, few arrests have actually been made. But there are repercussions, even if it's simply a warning letter or a restricted internet access. So it's possible you can get a warning letter or a restricted internet access. Did not know that. Wow. Here it goes again, guys. The, the thing that we just keep on seeing everywhere. Don't view it. Don't post it. I'm just going to... I guess, I guess, I can't, I can't continue to read this guy, I can't continue to view this, and I, I don't want to make videos about it, it's just disgusting, guys, it's just, there it is, don't want to do that, don't want to post this, don't want to view anything about that, don't want to post that, don't want to view anything about that. Uh, don't want to post that. Don't want to do anything about that. Um, no, thank you. Yep, you see that. If you want to make homemade bombs, disguise everyday items such as a backpack, you know. Don't want to post that. Don't want to do that, guys. Make this a nice, simple guideline. Don't want to post anything about that, and I don't want to do anything about that. Don't want to post anything about that, and I don't want to view anything about that. I don't want to post anything about that, or view anything about that. Um, I just scrolled up to make sure that I remember these things myself. Because you know, hearing people talk about it, I'm gonna be at basketball courts and be at other events and hear people about. It. I want to inform them outside, not just online, but 
you know, hear them talking, yo, don't, don't post about that, don't view, you know, don't post about it, don't use anything about it, you know, law enforcement agencies are willing to arrest you for that, or, or wanting to arrest you for that, that's, that's not right, you know, learn how to put that in your, your vocabulary, in your statements, guys, your everyday statements, to help society um, grow in the right direction, um, and, and change in the right direction, guys, so, Another individual's property uploaded without their permission. Did you know sharing another individual's property online without their permission is legal? Property can be defined as images, videos, and words. Uh, that, that's great. So, that's great to know. Someone's out there is sharing your image, sharing your video, and and using your words so it's illegal to film someone without their knowledge and upload it online guys um, so you have to get permission guys to, to, to do that so that's good to know images videos and words guys don't 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 be posting other people's images, don't be posting other people's videos, um, and don't be posting other people's words, alright? What if you view this content not knowing it's illegal? You like me? What if you view this content no, not knowing it's illegal? You likely won't get arrested, however, the uploader could face serious charges. Um, yeah. Don't 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 depend on this. Yes. You see that statement there, don't depend on it. Just don't don't do it. Alright. What is illegal to view on the internet? Be careful when surfing. What is illegal? We all know viewing and downloading child pornography can be done the rest. But even for searching for specific terms can put you in the internet watch list and can even result in the rest. That is why it's important to be careful when on the internet. This includes downloading pornography, unaware that minors were involved in the pornography, pornographic content you were watching, where you were recently charged with child pornography in the time you need. Okay, so that's what this this is site had to say. Um, you know, we visited two sites. Um, let's say, I think we got a good you know, introduction of what content is illegal on the internet. Um, let's put in Florida, guys. How about that? So let's get state specific. Um, See what they say on this site. All right, this page is not intended as legal advice. It's provided to give you basic information to use as a starting point in discussions with your attorney. Now, yep, let me let me let me add this disclaimer to my notebook. So people, I agree with this message. Guys, let me let me add this. Uh, disclaimer to my notes read that guys just this page this, this page and video <laughs> and video is not intended as legal advice guys it's just provided to give you basic information to use as a starting point in discussions with your attorney okay so uh, I like that I'm not trying to tell you, like, I'm not a lawyer, guys. So I don't think I'm a lawyer or anything like that. I'm just a network engineer. Yeah, that's why I got my, my degree in, in that's, um, National Security Agency and Department of Defense Certified Program, from what I was told, and that's all my paperwork. So, Florida's obscenity laws are confined in Chapter 847 of the Florida Statutes. Obscenity laws cover offenses that relate to porn or improper relations with minors that do not involve touching, but that do not 
Team Black have offensive rate of corner and proper relations with liners that do not involve touching. The most recognizable obscenity law is in Chapter 847, which covers computer pornography and traveling. This is more commonly associated with the, with the show To Catch a Predator, where men are caught meeting up with what they believe to be an underage girl willing to have sex with them, only to find out that the underage girl was really an undercover cop. These type of stings happen quite often in Florida. Most of the time, when an individual, individual is caught up in this type of sting, the name and photo of the individual ends up in the newspaper and on several websites. This can lead to loss of job, social stigma, and problems in the personal relationship. So it is important to stay away from any situation where your actions can be interpreted as trying to solicit a minor for sex or anything related to sex. Um, although the traveling statues are most popular of the ops, I can't say that word, let's uh, get some help. Obscenity, okay, obscenity laws. There are several areas that are covered these include selling pornography to minors, showing pornography to minors, pornography crimes such as transmitting porn to a minor, showing pornog pornographic video of yourself to a minor, traveling to meet a minor for sexual purpose, trying to meet a minor for sexual purpose in a chat room or possess or possessing child pornography. Buying or selling a minor for sexual purpose or holding computer services liable for illegal pornographic. Yeah, this is so sad, guys. That we got to keep on seeing this everywhere. I mean, I'm, I'm great that they're educating the people about it to stop it, to help people report it. You know, it's good to read and understand it, guys. I mean, that's probably the best view that you're going to get of it is view it, to understand it, to report it, to understand that it's wrong. If you're trying to view, you know, view, like, I'm not, talking, I'm not saying view child pornography, I'm saying view this, like, content about what is illegal in that content. Like, that view, that's a good view. View that type of information. What is illegal in that content. Inform yourself. Uh, inform yourself. Protect yourself. Um, improve, improve your cyber security. Um, do that guys uh, okay let's see if we can find something else um, I don't these are the laws I'm not trying to get too deep into the fines of the probation and jail like you should you know they already have those dictated things I'm not, I'm not trying to inform you about that let's find other things that are that are wrong um, to do What's illegal content on the internet? Art, phones, performance, and movies. Some are pretty simple. Obscenity. Over the phone. I'm going to read a bit to myself to see if I can get the information um, a bit more away from you know, sex and child pornography because we obviously got that. I think we got that point driven home that we shouldn't view or post anything about that. Um, so I'm trying to see if we can get some more information and get a better idea of what else we shouldn't view or post. Okay. Bestiality. Yeah, it's a lot of se sexual things. Just don't view it. Don't post it, guys. It's just say, let's just put sexual things in a big old box in general. And let's leave this. Uh, let, let's leave that website and um, let's see if we can find something else. But everywhere is child pornography. I'm, I'm glad they got it posted everywhere because people need to know. We're doing our job about informing people to make it obvious that you touch a kid, you're going to jail. So, 
touch kid while I'm in the wrong man and going to jail. And I approve that message. Um, okay. Okay. So we're not getting um, too much hits on that. Let's see. This one talks about torrenting, explosives, hiring an assassin. We got those. At least we got those main points out of the way. Let's see if we can. All right, copyrighted songs and movies, guys. That 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 seems. That's good to know. That might be new to some of the people. They don't have that idea, so don't download copyrighted songs and movies. Don't view or post anything about downloading copyrighted songs and movies. Yeah. All right. Because viewing and posting is our main action, guys. So that can get us in trouble. When uh, using a computer, so. Obsidian, you know, we've read about that. It seems like a lot of. This one was in 2013. It's kind of outdated. Let's see what they were talking about back in 2013. What did they think? Uh, 14 legal things you're doing on the internet. Unlocking your phone. Okay, they thought you were. Uh, the site's not giving too much. Mm. Alright, that site's not giving too much. Let's back out of there. It's an old, old site. Oh, look, hey, we got the, the Florida statues page, guys. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, don't forget the disclaimer, though. This page and video is not intended as legal advice. It's provided to give you basic information and use the starting point in discussion with your attorney. And I like all this, the notes up here. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this as some law notes. Okay, that's some law notes. So, all right, we got. Oh, this is all about obscenity again. All right, we got the idea. Okay. Is there anything else? So this is just about obscenity. I think we got that that idea. But there's the Florida statue place uh, statues, guys. So if you guys are interested in Florida, more Florida statues. Um, I might make a, we should make a video just on this and read through, you know, read through the statute book. That'd probably be, that'd probably be very, very informative, guys. And the, I want to stay focused on cybersecurity and internet security and um, network security and network engineering and, and things like that. Um, and obviously, Guild Wars guys, because if everyone is going to be able to join, we can have fun too, because uh, the study is going to stress us out. So I have to wait after we're done, uh, you know, reading up, getting informed, getting down stress, and kind of hop in and play with each other. So don't forget to join. Uh, like, subscribe, follow, donate if you can, guys. And let's have fun with each other. Anyway, anyhow, back to, back to this. Okay. Hates and crazy laws in Florida. No, we're, we're backing out of that. Okay, I think. Oh, let me.
See what we got this website. It's not the laws you need to know in edible form. Alright, guys. Guide to laws about the internet, social media, and email in the United States. This page has got federal laws and regulations about the internet. Your state may provide additional protection in some of these areas, so be sure to check out your state laws here. For California states. Alright, so this place, look at this. Laws, oop, legal guides. This website, this guy's trying to help people. Um, hopefully, so far we think I don't know. It's a website. I don't don't mark me on it all the way yet. We're still trying to figure out ourselves. So let's see what he has to say. Posting on social media. Can a social media platform like Twitter or Facebook legally legally ban or censor people? That isn't that a violation of the First Amendment? A private non-government business such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, etc. is generally not subject to the First Amendment. The First Amendment is, uh, as with most of the U.S. Constitution, applies to the government, not, not to private individuals or businesses. Thus, they can ban or censor anything or anyone they want as long as it complies with their own policies terms of service. However, this makes these companies very powerful, perhaps too powerful, as even the companies themselves admit. The government has the power to regulate social media companies to limit their power to censor speech. However, Congress has not done so. Okay. Alright. What can or can I post online? Can I post someone else's picture, video, or writing on my on my social media? In general, you can't use or distribute someone else's content without their permission. So make sure that you're not posting anyone else's picture, guys, video, or writing on your social media, guys. Uh, be very careful to make sure that it's all your own writing uh, and not someone else's writing. All right, is my employer allowed to restrict my right to use my personal social media on my own time? Can I be fired for what I post online? Yes, in certain circumstances. Is it illegal to make threats on social media? It depends on how serious it is. They got guides to uh, to laws about posting online. Guides to laws about posting. All right, we'll probably bring this up too and see what they got to say. Okay. Cyber harassment and cyber stalking. All right, that's another topic that we can get onto. That's good. Don't don't don't, don't cyber harass. And don't cyber stalk. Don't view or don't post about cyber. I, mean, I guess don't. I can't say don't post if you're trying to just be against it. Don't post if you're for it. I guess in mean, that, that sense, possibly. You know, it's like, like I said. Not legal advice, just to give you basic information, guys. So give you an idea. Well, cyber stalking is when someone repeatedly or systematically harasses another person online. If you have the right to protection against stalking and cyber stalking makes you fear of your life or your health okay so we got some, some new, new new ideas to think about 
um, privacy and internet, social media to make uh, to take more control of your data. Try a new the new Brave browser. What is that? Uh, I have not heard of Brave. All right, we got four. Hacking and unauthorized access. What exactly is hacking? That's a good question. Hacking is generally defined as unauthorized access or exceeding unauthorized access to a computer, account, server, or other device such as cell phone without somebody's permission, guys. Ransomware, we're gonna talk about ransomware. Okay, guys, my throat is getting dry. I'm gonna need some water. I'll talk to you guys for a bit. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I try to get you as much um, information as I can. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, donate, guys, if you can. Um, I'll be doing my best to bring you more content like this. And yeah, have a wonderful day, guys.